Yo, how we doing everyone? It's Chase. Uh, nice to talk with you all again. Uh, it's been a little. Um, been a little less active on Twitter, but you know, we'll talk about all that uh, towards the end of the video. Um, we're going to get right into Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, before we get into that, you know, quick shout out to PrimeXBT as usual for sponsoring these videos. Um, my links will be at the bottom of the screen. Sign up, give them a try, you get a 50% deposit bonus. Okay, so not much has changed since last week when we spoke, okay? Uh, my plan is still the same. I'm not looking to short this area. Um, we can just see support, 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 and then support again here. Um, support is support until it breaks, right? Um, there have been many a times where I have paid too close of attention to price and, oh, it's going to break this time for sure. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, the more times a level is tested, the more likely it is to break. But we can see that we're wicking off this level every time. So that means, you know, market participants are still buying this level up. Uh, it's not even closing inside of support yet. Okay, so this is still getting bought up. I'm not looking to short the market here. Uh, where am I looking to short the market? 100% if we get some type of strong bounce, strong rally, which, you know, if you look back in time, even after big parabolic dumps, right, you typically get strong rallies. And I remember the sentiment all of these times, oh, we're going to new all-time highs. We're going to all-time highs, okay? So you typically get decent bounces. And we could see, you know, a huge breakdown, you get a strong bounce. A huge breakdown, I mean, this is a mediocre bounce but i think we've yet to see that bounce where market participants are going to start saying oh we're going to all-time highs now we're going to all-time highs now i think that's the narrative you start to hear when we get up into here and this is an amazing short okay we can see support we could see support we could see price su uh, support again here and then it switches into the origin of the breakdown okay so support 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 breakdown Okay, so this is where we're looking to short, guaranteed, if we get up towards here, I'll be sticking to that plan no matter what. So as far as Bitcoin goes, like I said, not looking to short support. If we do break down from support, I'm looking for longs around 23,000 area, more specifically around 22.7. Um, I think this will be an area to, to, you know, at least get a bounce from, right? I'll take a long, I will use a stop. I don't think I'm getting into spot. Uh, you know, looking to buy any more spot necessarily, maybe around 20 if we really went that low. Because, um, you know, I think you'd definitely get a bounce here as well. But overall, I think if the market is to be some kind of bullish, I don't really want to see us back at the old all time highs. Uh, I think if we're back at the old all time highs, then that means that we're going to see like a, you know, a longer term consolidation if we're going to bounce off that level it doesn't make it wouldn't make a lot of sense to me if we just hit the level and then bounced off and immediately went up i'm not sure i think to be more bullish i'd like to see worst case scenario is is a is a you know trap shorts in here right and then reclaim and then go i don't even really want to see 23 tested but if it was tested i'd probably play a bounce something like this to this area um, you may be hearing some thunder in the background. Uh, that's those loud booms, just so you know. Holy shit. Shaking the house. Um, so, yeah. Bounce off uh, 23. I close that long in here. Um, all right. Moving forward towards Ethereum. Okay, one second. Once again, support. Okay, we've been bouncing off support. It did break through it. There was some, you know, weird, somewhat weird price action, panicky price action in here. Okay, but since then it's been support over and over again. Uh, we whipped off it strongly today. Um, we have all these highs here. Uh, once again, I'm looking to short this area around 3,300 to 3,500. That's my short zone. Uh, if we were to flip, uh, so yeah, like you know this area flip as well is a possible long opportunity right because just look at all this uh you know consolidation you have in here and if you took resistance 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 and you flipped it into support right so if we close up here we're impulsing stay patient right now you don't always get the opportunity but if you fomo in you're not going to have good risk reward but 
if you wait for the opportunity, front run this level slightly, okay? Get your long, you know, stop back inside somewhere wherever the previous consolidation was that led to the breakout. You put your stop below that. Uh, and then that should move us towards 33 to 35. So I'm definitely looking for this long opportunity right there. That's the long opportunity I'm looking for. Um, once again, not really looking to short much here. Uh, if we did flip this whole area to resistance, uh, like if we broke down and we came back up to test, I'd probably take a short once again. Same situation as this, just opposite, okay? And then that would probably be looking at these lows uh, or even near 1422 to 1500 area, okay? I'm also looking to buy this area here. Um, in what fashion would I buy it? Uh, there's definitely a level right here, okay? So we could see this level uh, that would correlate, uh, you'd have confluence of sweeping this low, and then you'd also have this level here as backup, which I believe is a three-day or a weekly level. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, okay, a weekly level. So we could see resistance, support, we rally, this is the support, uh, that's where we bounced last time. If we swept that low, could probably buy in here, I'd also look to be a buyer around 1422. Uh, again, probably using some type of stops on these because if, uh, you know, when I say some type of stops, I mean, you know, just below the level, right? You know, say 1100s or something, because if we were to continue to break down, I mean, I don't know, I, I feel like a majority of the bullishness is lost at that point. Um, the lowest I could see ETH going is really sweeping this low and recovering. If it goes much lower than that, I mean, not good for at least for a good amount of time, right? I mean, maybe, you know, in a, you know, in two years or something, it starts rallying again or something. But that, in my opinion, that's when you start talking about more of a prolonged bear market, so to say. Um, all right, so we covered Bitcoin. Yeah, we covered the short, we covered the longs, uh, we covered what we want to do with that. Ethereum, the same, the short, the flip of the long, uh, the flip of this resistance level, long opportunity. Uh, longs down here, potential short opportunity on a flip of this level. Um, so that basically covers everything. Um, now we will chat just a little bit about overall uh, crypto things. All right, give me one sec. So I suppose I've been posting less just because, um, you know, a couple reasons really. One, there's not much to post about um, honestly I could join in on you know I, I feel like there's a there's a CT is split up uh, right now and, and I'll explain and uh, don't get me wrong you know I'm I'm more than happy for the people who are you know out having a good time I mean we've been grinding hard for the past year to year and a half um, everyone deserves a break uh, whether your break is uh, you know going to Miami or whether your break is uh, you know going on the swing set at your local park I, I, I don't care what you do uh, as long as you're enjoying your life I'm, I'm very happy for you okay and I hope you continue to enjoy your life um, but all I'm gonna say in terms of value I'm not finding much value on CT at the moment and I've never really been one to necessarily um, you know take others analysis and trade off of it or anything of that nature but I do enjoy the atmosphere of coming on and you know seeing what people are thinking and uh, you know seeing what may feel crowded and what may not feel crowded and um, just right now I don't I'm not seeing much of any value on CT I'm seeing uh, you know the party side of CT which like I said cool you guys have your fun uh, a lot of these guys are my friends and I, I hope they continue to have their fun uh, a lot of people made it this bull run you know they walked off with five ten million dollars or something cool go live your life um, but that's not really providing me any type of value um, yeah it just is what it is uh, and then there's the other side of CT right now that's just like completely like misery salt nastiness um, it's just and, and they're that's even worse that like that's even more zero value than the people who are just showing themselves partying um, the, so basically I'm just not finding a ton of value at a CT right now. Um, there are a few grinders left, I'd say, that are, you know, trying to trade this consolidation. Um, and it's, you know, 
it could be good for scalpers and whatnot. I find it hard to believe that um, anyone's being super accurate with calls in here that are uh, relating to, you know, profits for anyone who is following and whatnot. I mean, there's there's minor moves in here, right? But overall, you know, you're, you're not seeing a huge discrepancy in price. Um, Really, you're just trading the range. If you want to trade the range, trade the range. Short resistance and long support until it breaks. That, that's it. There's not there's not like a ton of alpha there, in my opinion, to uh, to relay to people. Um, yeah, and, that, and that's really it. So, yeah, I hope people you know continue to you know have a great time. Whatever's going on, uh, I think price action is stale, uh, slow. Like I've been saying, I want to see some type of impulse move to really start trading again. I think that an extremely underrated aspect of trading is being able to sit on your hands. I know, you know, sitting on your hands for a month can literally feel like an eternity. This is probably the longest I've gone without taking a trade in, I don't know, two or three years. And honestly, I like my true opinion is that I feel like it's just due to me maturing as a trader. Like, I would be getting chopped up in this and losing a lot of my bull market gains, uh, you know, two years ago. And now I've seen this all before. You know, I, I, I saw this back, you know, back when, right? I saw this back when and I tried, <laughs> I tried trading, you know, this, this area and I, I got chopped up. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I'm, uh, you know, I will continue to post. Uh, when I believe I have content that is worthy of posting and relevant and important, but um, outside of that, you know, I am taking, uh, you know, slightly a backseat at the moment. Um, just know that I mean I'm not, you know, if I had a lot of really good shit to say, I'd be saying it. Um, I just don't. I think a lot of people just, you know, you'll be trying to, you know, put content out that really you know, just saying the same thing over and over again. Um, I could do that. I, I could, you know, just say this, repeat the same thing over and over again, or, you know, be a salty bitch like a lot of these people I see on here. Um, but, you know, fuck all that. Uh, you know, good vibes to everyone. Uh, I hope people did, you know, good during the bull run. I hope people took some profits. We may be in for some type of extended consolidation here. We talked about all the levels to buy. Uh, and how I'm looking to play it. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll continue to be here. I'm always going to be here um, until I, quote, unquote, make it. Then I may, you know, disappear for a bit. But, um, yeah, I'm chilling. I'm still here. Um, and, yeah, when, when important things come, uh, you know I'll be there to talk about it. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.